Hello, and welcome to the Apostolic Resource Center. My name is Lisa Great. I'm the president and the founder. I want to share with you a word of prophetic encouragement, if I could, this afternoon. I am excited about what God is saying and doing right now in the earth realm, and I wanted to share with you as we just found out who the two teams that are playing in Super Bowl 54 are. Now, if you're not a football fan, don't turn off the turn off the TV yet or turn off the YouTube channel yet. I think you'll be really encouraged by the word that God has given me. And here's what I hear the Lord saying. I hear the Lord decreeing national jubilee. I hear the words national jubilee coming from the heart of God. And so as I did a little bit of study and listened to the Lord related to the details related to Super Bowl 54, this is what I've come to understand. First of all, the San Francisco 49ers are going to be in the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs have not been to a Super Bowl since 1970. That was the last time they went to a Super Bowl. It was Super Bowl IV against the Minnesota Vikings, and the Chiefs ended up winning, but it was 50 years ago. So you have the 49ers and you have 50 years ago. Both of these numbers, 49 and 50, according to Leviticus, are jubilee year numbers. In the in Leviticus 28, it talks about the, the jubilee years will be the 49th year, seven, 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 seven years cycles will be the 49 years, so it'll be a Sabbath year. And then the 50th year, it says in Leviticus 28, will also be a jubilee year. So the numbers 49 and 50 in the Hebrew Bible are directly connected to the word jubilee. So you may say, what is a jubilee? Well, a jubilee means three main things. Debt cancellation, family reconciliation, and also, uh, oh, I just drew a blank on the third one. Debt cancellation, family reconciliation, uh, debt cancellation, family reconciliation, and land restoration. Those are the three main things that the Jubilee were all about. And I believe God is decreeing that over the nation of America right now during the national sporting event called the Super Bowl, the first national sporting event for the year 2020. And so here's a couple of the other details. I, I wrote down some notes on my phone here. Here's a couple of the other details that I have come to learn. It's Super Bowl 54 which immediately for you that are prophetic and you that have, have been waiting upon the next move of God, I believe that relates to Isaiah 54. And if you aren't familiar with Isaiah 54 and the prophetic significance of that chapter, you will want to brush up on that chapter. Here's a couple highlights. Sing, O barren one, shout aloud, enlarge the place of your tent, stretch out your, your curtains, Lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes, spread abroad to the right and to the left. Uh, you're going to possess the nations and make desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, you shall not be ashamed, confounded, or depressed. You will not be put to shame. You will forget the shame of your youth. You shall not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. It goes on to talk about the Holy One of Israel as your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth. It goes on to speak about, um, uh, for the, though the mountains should depart and the hills be shaken and removed, my love and kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace and completeness be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. It goes on to talk about, you shall establish yourself in righteousness. You shall be far from even the thought of oppression or destruction. You shall not fear terror, for it shall not come near you. You know what else is in this chapter? No weapon that formed, is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall show to be in the wrong. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. This is the righteousness or the vindication which they obtain from me, says the Lord. Oh my God, today, Isaiah 54 is rich with prophetic promises, rich with good news for the nations and for the nation of America during this Super Bowl 54. But here's a couple other things to take note of. The Super Bowl is going to happen um, between San Francisco, Kansas City, and in Miami. That ties the West Coast to the Midwest to the East Coast. 
again, it just speaks of a national jubilee that God is doing, that, that this is not about just one city, San Francisco, Kansas City, or Miami. It's about the whole nation as this Super Bowl is covering the West, the Midwest, and the East. Also, it's going to be on February 2nd, 2020. That's 2-2-2020. That immediately reminds me of Isaiah 22-22, which many people in the prophetic stream know that verse. It says, for I shall place the key of David, I shall place the key on, the, on his shoulders for the house of David, that whatever he opens, no man shall shut, and whatever he locks, no man shall open. Father, Father declares that he's going to place the key of David upon his son, and whatever he opens, no man's going to shut, and whatever he shuts, no man's going to open. And I believe that God is about to open Jubilee for this nation. It's a national Jubilee that I believe God is sending. So let's add another prophetic puzzle piece. The three colors that are synonymous for both the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs are red, white, and gold. Those are the three colors of these two teams. And red and white represent Isaiah 118. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And, and that is related to Jubilee. And here's why. Because it's related to the Day of Atonement, which Ezekiel, I'm sorry, which Leviticus says is what they're supposed to count for the seven Sabbaths. It's related to the Day of Atonement. It's related to Passover. And it's such a beautiful representation. And you say, well, how does the gold play into Jubilee? Well, the 50-year anniversary for married people is called a golden Jubilee. Or any 50-year anniversary, whether it's in your company, it's called a golden Jubilee. So you have the red, the white, and the gold prophesying Jubilee. And then another um, aspect of this is that Bob Jones, one of the Kansas City prophets who used to uh, uh, live here in the Kansas City area, uh, along with Sean Boltz, uh, Paul Keith Davis, Rick Joyner, Mike Bickle, the International House of Prayer, that they were called the Kansas City prophets along with other people. John Paul Jackson is another one for you that know prophetic names. Well, Sean Boltz put on his Facebook post this morning that he, you know, he and Sean Boltz and Bob Jones were friends. Bob Jones is now dead. Um, but he put on his Facebook that more than 10 times Bob Jones spoke to him and said that when the Kansas City Chiefs go to the Super Bowl and win, this is what Bob Jones said. When they go to the Super Bowl and win, it will be a sign of apostolic um, reformers that are being sent into the to all sectors of society to influence society. Well, that ties into what Johnny Enlow and Lance Wall now and so many other people are talking about related to the seven mountains and the need for the next revival to impact the seven mountains of culture. And that it's not going to be a church revival per se, but rather it's going to be more of a reformation that is going to bring a transformation to the nation. And so again, to me, that ties back to a national jubilee. And so as I look at all of these different prophetic pieces, I wanted to present them to you. But I believe Super Bowl 54 is prophesying to us Isaiah 54 with the colors red, white, and gold. It's prophesying Jubilee with the date 2-2-2020. It's prophesying Isaiah 22-22. And even with the fact that it's the 49ers versus the Chiefs who haven't been in the Super Bowl in 50 years, I believe we're on the verge of a national jubilee, where this is not about one city, one ministry, one man, one place. It's about a nation of whom God is making a decree over this nation, national jubilee, that the whole nation may be set free. I hope this is encouraging to you. I know it's encouraging to me. And, and whether the 49ers win or the Chiefs win, it really doesn't matter. Because the prophetic word coming out of these signs for this Super Bowl is a nation, national jubilee word. And so may you enjoy the Super Bowl, knowing that God is speaking in time, on time, to this nation right now. I declare national jubilee.